Hello again and welcome to digitalcameratutorials.com. Today we're going to work with a program called Face Morpher and the idea here is that you're going to blend two photos of people together. So I'll give you a demonstration of how that works. So we open up Face Morpher Lite. It's a free program. Uh, I've already shown you how to download that and it opens up this dialog window. We need to fill both these boxes with photographs. So we open here and it'll give us some instruction. Now I've uh, a folder called Face Morpher already ready with photos that I'm going to use in it. You can navigate to your My Pictures folder and find photos that are suitable. So the first photo I'm going to use is this one here. And then I'm going to select the area, the person that I want to take out of that photo. And I go next to that. And it now analyzes that photograph deciding where the eyes are, where the nose is, the mouth is, because they're going to be blending two photos together. So it takes a few seconds while it analyzes that. So we just wait for this analysis to run through. As it says, it's the facial structure that's being recognized. And once that when that's done, it inserts the picture in here. We now go to open another photograph and I'm going to take this photo here as you can see the head is oriented the same direction I have a mirror image of the same photo here but this one doesn't work so well because the head isn't oriented the same direction so I'm going to take this photograph here and again I'm going to select the area that I want and next and it again goes through the analysis and it's matching up the eyes with the eyes the nose with the nose and so on the various facial features are bringing analyzed and put together. So this again takes a few seconds. And once this bar has run the whole way across then we have the analysis done. Okay, so it's speeding through and that's finished. So it now has the two photographs here analyzed and down here it'll give you a preview of what your movie will look like. So we press play. And you can see here that one photo is blended into the other and you can see the similar facial features. These are two brothers, my two children. And it scrolls it back and over, analyzing the two faces and morphing them into each other. So it's a very fun thing to do with the photograph. Now there are many options that you have here. You can make your film much shorter by lowering the number of frames. So we could bring that down to 40 and see that it would play much quicker. The morphing is done much faster. So that's one option you can do. You can also go to movie up here and you can loop the playing. And what that does is it continues to play over and over and over. So it doesn't just stop play back and over, it continues to play. So once this slider reaches back here, it won't wait for me to tell it to play again. It'll bounce and start playing again itself. So that's with the loop playing. Let's undo the loop playing. You can go into caricature mode. So we click on that. And what happens here is that not only does it morph, but it also distorts one of the photo or both photographs. So it continues there, distorts. There's your caricature mode. Uh, I'll press play here again. It brings it to what it should look like, then it morphs it, and then it brings it beyond that into caricature and back again. Okay, so we'll undo that. You may want to change the order of the photographs. You might want to swap one picture to the other side. So we can swap the photos, and it just puts them in the opposite place, and then you play again. Now it brings the slider, this time it brings the slider back and then it'll stop and then we have to press play because it's now going to start with this as the beginning photograph and this as our second one so many many things that you can do with it when you're happy that the photographs are in the correct order and that the morphing is happening the way you want it to and you have the correct number of frames and you put in your character mode or not you can then produce the movie so what I now want to do is to save the movie so we click on Save Movie, 
I'm going to save it in Face Morpher and I have to give it a name. So I'm going to call this Brothers and save. Once again, it'll ask me, do we want a full version of it? What, you know, do we, what type of movie do we want? We want the full frames, uncompressed version. So I go OK to that. And it takes about 20 seconds while the movie is being created. So you can see the progression here if you follow the slider. Also, you can follow the little green bar here as it fills up. So as I say, that'll take about 15, 20 seconds. And when that is finished, we can then go and actually view the movie using um, Windows Movie Player. So that's now finished. I'll minimize that program. I'll now go to find the Face Morpher file where, where I stored it. So it's in my pictures. And Face Morpher is down here. There. So I'll open up the Face Morpher file. And I now want to find that movie. There it is, Brothers AVI. So I'll double click on that. And it opens up Windows Media Player. And that's the movie. Okay, so if we go back to Face Morpher here, you can see there are many, many different things that we can do. We can make the movie longer. We can loop the movie. We can put it into character mode. Many, many different types. But Face Morpher is a, a fun thing to do with photographs digitalcameratutorials.com